Hello. In this video, we will look at one common way to organize a news article, the inverted pyramid. We will describe this style, look at an example, and talk about why it is useful. You probably know what a pyramid looks like. So what does inverted mean? It means upside down. The biggest part of the pyramid is at the top. If we think of a news article as an inverted pyramid, it means that the biggest part, the most important information, comes first, or at the top. Then the key details follow, and the article ends with background information or less important details. Let's look at a simple example of a news story about the weather. Heavy rain is expected on Wednesday from Baltimore to Washington, D.C., according to the National Weather Service in Maryland. A system of low pressure off the coast will bring rain to the Mid-Atlantic area on Wednesday. The rain will begin in the early afternoon and last throughout the night, according to the National Weather Service. Baltimore is expected to receive one inch of rain, and Washington, D.C. could see up to two inches. Winds may also be strong throughout the area. You can see that the most important information comes first. What? Heavy rain. When? Wednesday. Where? around Baltimore and Washington, D.C. By reading just this first paragraph, readers can understand the most important ideas. They could even understand the ideas pretty well without reading further than this paragraph. What comes next? We see an explanation of the cause of the rain, more details about when the rain will occur, and the amounts of rain. These answer questions like why, when exactly, how much. This information is good to know but less essential than the facts in the first paragraph. The last sentence talks about wind which we can usually expect during a storm, so it's a less important detail that belongs at the end. We should say that the inverted pyramid style is only one way to structure a news article. Some journalists and editors criticize this style. There are other ways to organize your story. For example, if you use an anecdotal lead or a contrast lead, you will need to organize information very differently. But the inverted pyramid style is a traditional style that is still very common in English language media, so it's good to know how to use it. One reason for the popularity of this style is that it makes articles easy to edit or cut. When editors or writers need to shorten articles, they can simply cut from the bottom without leaving out any inf important information. Let's look at what happens if we cut from the bottom of our story about the rain. We can delete the last sentence, and the article still gives the information that readers really need to know. So in this video, we introduced the inverted pyramid style, which is a way to organize information in news articles. We looked at an example and talked about why this style is used. 